Hello. Today we're going to show how to change the hook belt on a Prodigy machine. We've had a lot of questions about that and a few belts need to be replaced so I'm going to go through some of the steps for this. Uh, I just wanted you to note I took the access cover out. It's already been removed and I removed the needle from an underneath and obviously we're doing this upside down so that I can show you how it goes. So you will either have to flip your machine over or do everything upside down. First thing I'm going to do is remove the hook position finger. We can get that out of the way. Now I'm going to remove the hook. I'm going to loosen this big cogged pulley here. I'm also going to loosen up this bracket. This is to adjust the belt in or out. I'm going to loosen that so I can get the belt off. slide this pulley off. Apologize for my hand getting in front of it. And there it flew off. Okay, now we've gotten to where we're with the belt here, and as you can see there's a gear down below that it is attached to. So there's an Allen screw, set screw. That needs to be loosened here. Okay. Okay. Now this, the hook retain mount will have to be removed. Okay, and there is the gear at the bottom, the lower cog beer gear. As you can see, the belt is easily removed after that. Okay, now there's a bearing in the front, a bearing in the back. These are pressed in. There's also another bearing right back here. If you're doing this and you've had a lot of hours on your machine, you might want to check your bearings and make sure they're okay. Also, these two have pressed in bearings. Check and make sure that they don't have any wear on the edges and that the bearings move easily. If you have any problem with those, now's the time to replace them. A lot easier than when you're doing all this and you have to retime anyway. So basically, you're just going to drop your belt in the slot. Again, I apologize for my fingers being in the way, but when you go to put this back in, there's a slot, a little notch cut out of the, the shaft. You want to run that back in right where the screw is. 
the little notch right there is going to go where the set screw is. Okay, so I try to face them both up at the same time. so that it will slide in. <coughs> now, this screw right here, when you reinstall this, you want a removable locking, a blue Loctite. That is what's best. You also want to make sure this gear is tight on the shafts so that when you tighten it down, This cannot move in or out because if this can move in or out, this shaft here, if, if it's got play this way, it will change where your hook position is while it's trying to pick up the thread with the needle. So you want to make sure that this particular gear is tight and this is pressed in all the way to where you'll see no play there. And then this one screw gets blue Loctite to hold it down. Then when you reinstall this big gear, you'll see there's two set screws right here. And there are also two flat spots on this shaft. Also, there's a small thin washer that's on this shaft. Make sure that that stays on there. That's to keep make sure your bearing has clearance. Okay, so there goes that. Now when you put this back on, you want to make sure it is tight against that little flat washer. And tighten these two against the flat spots on the shaft. Okay, now we've got this belt, we want to put back on here, <coughs> then I'm going to tighten up these screws, I haven't made any adjustments so we'll see if it goes back in the right position, if not, There's a screw in here to raise this this whole bracket assembly up, and there's also these two screws and these two here. That will make this plate move in and out to get your belt in the desired position. Okay. I'm going to put the hook on, and I'm just going to snug one of the screws up just to hold it. Because we don't know where it's got to be, we're going to have to go and retime this. And then we're going to put the hook position finger back on. And it's going to sit in the little notch of the hook. We'll tighten that up. And you want to make sure when that's done you have at least half of the clearance. Okay. After this is done, you're just going to want to make sure it spins. Everything is back in position. And you'd like the belt to run towards the outside of this pulley, right at this edge, if possible. If it goes back too far, it will rub the back end of the housing. And that's what it is. There you have it. That's all there is to changing the timing belt on this Prodigy machine. Thank you, and I hope this helps.